Hi, this is Danny, and I am so glad that you are here. The channel is called You and Me Living Free, and today, just in case you can't read the sign, we are in Flagstaff, Arizona. This is a wonderful town, and the main reason we came here is because I'm traveling with my son, Thomas, and he is interested in Northern Arizona University. So as we drive around here, I'm just going to share a few clips of our drive through the campus area so you can see how beautiful it is, and I'll give you a little bit of behind the scenes. So we were in Flagstaff, the next stop is going to be the Grand Canyon, but we're going to do that in the next video, so be sure to watch that. But we found plenty around Flagstaff to keep us busy, and we loved this town. You know how sometimes you just drive in somewhere and you can feel that there is a special energy or there's something about the town, and we both felt it. We both loved the town and the campus the people, everything about it. So we're very excited to spend some time in Flagstaff. They have a lot to offer, including great hiking. This is pretty much a city park. It's called Mars Hill Trail. There's a ball diamond like right across the street. So you're, you're pretty much on the city's edge, but the city is so gorgeous. This is what look, the city park looks like. Here's just a few snapshots and peaks of our walk. It was wonderful. And I just want to quickly mention the All Trails app again. Again, they don't sponsor me or anything, but I love the app because it was recommended for us to go on a certain trail. And I was excited to go there. But when I looked it up on All Trails, it said that it was a moderate hike and also that it wasn't always clearly marked. So I felt like this was a better option for us. But I'm really glad I had the All Trails app to kind of guide me. This trail did have a couple of steep inclines. It had a 7% and a 13% grade. But um, again, I'm out of shape, so I really need to stick to the quote unquote easy trails. <laughs> easy for one, not so easy for another. Anyway, this is our campground. I wanna tell you about it. I did not get a picture of the sign, but it's called Woody's Mountain Campground. I really like this place a lot. As you can see though, there the, the slots are very close together. The spaces are close together. This is kind of in the middle of the day when a lot of the people had cleared out, but you can see how close our neighbors are. And we had neighbors on three sides of us, but it was actually relatively quiet. And we did have a nice picnic table. We did have a nice spot. We had good shade covering the whole time. So Woody's gets a th thumbs up from us. Okay, here's another really cool thing. Let me tell you about it. This is called Oak Creek Vista. It's maybe 10 miles or so from Flagstaff, maybe 20, I forget. It was a short drive. And it's basically you drive up and do a short hike and it's a big overlook. But beyond that, there is like a vendor fair set up. There are these booths. Um, okay, so this is what the official sign said. It's a vendor project sponsored by Native Americans for Community in Action in cooperation with the U.S. Forest Service, but what it is is a series of booths, and they have authentic Native American products that were created by Native Americans, sold by Native Americans, and so they all get together and have these booths. I didn't take any pictures of the booths, which is why you're just looking at pictures of Thomas <laughs> and of the background, but I will share a picture of what I bought while I was at the booths. And this is my dream catcher, and this is its Certificate of Authenticity, which I love and appreciate deeply. Oh, let me tell you about this now. This is the most amazing sandwich shop. If you are ever in Flagstaff, you have to go here. It is called Proper Meats and Provisions. It's in an awesome little area of town with other great restaurants and socializing stuff, and here are our meals. They were the, some of the best sandwiches I have ever had. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.